So from a teacher point of point of view, I can I can assure you there's some real concerns yep. uh, about the about the grading system. Teachers work incredibly hard, take a lot of hits. Uh, the general tenor is that, you know. Um, you have all these societal problems, right, that affect uh, young people before they ever step through the doors of the schoolhouse, and all of that's laid at the feet of the teachers. And if things don't translate to high achievement, then that's somehow the teacher's fault. That's the interpretation of many, not all. And so teachers have reservations about the grades and, you know, the, uh, the actual math. Um, do I personally think uh, growth should be higher? I do. I'm partial. I work at a high-poverty school, and so I know that there are teachers that are working very hard. And the achievement may not necessarily reflect that, but there's genuine growth, general, genu genuine gains being made that may not necessarily be seen or it's oversimplified by just a letter grade now. As mentioned, those who are really inquisitive will take you know, the opportunity to look at it and kind of uh, dive into the data and see you know, some of the, the subgroups and see that, the, that there's growth being made. But uh, the fear is that uh, the grade will stigmatize schools and it'll fall along you know, socioeconomic and sometimes racial lines and that you end up having schools that are, you know, perpetually underperforming, labeled as such, in, in neighborhoods that have already been, you know, kind of cast off and where some of the more fluent, high-performing uh, schools that have high achievement, um, they'll be, in, in, you know, they'll be in the clear, so to speak. Um, so I think that's the genuine, that's the genuine fear that teachers have. Um, I'm, I'm not one who thinks that schools should not be assessed. I, I think that the work we do can be measured. I think you have to control for a lot of other different factors, you know, um, you have to control for one attendance, you have to control for poverty, you have to control for language proficiency. There's a bunch of other things that can be baked into that. Uh, and perhaps that's something we can think about, you know, in, in the more long term. Uh, but yeah, I, I gotta say, you know, I, I know people are waiting with bated breath <laughs> all across the state to kind of see how things turn out. Um, but uh, I, I remain optimistic. I think we have enough hands on deck, enough. Uh, minds at the table where we can think through this and get it to really reflect uh, what everybody's doing uh, on, on an equitable and on a fair basis.